This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, here we are. And a good, uh, good Friday to all of you from us in New York City, to all of you around the world and uh, elsewhere. And uh, yeah, looky, 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 looky who's here. There she is. There uh, she is. Yeah, yeah. Happy, uh, happy, well, it's the birthday girl. It's the birthday girl. And so how old are you today? Old enough. You see, now, I, what, why is it I sit around here and I'm just really good about saying how old I am? Well, that's your issue. What do you mean it's my issue? No, <laughs> it's an issue. Why is it that, you, do you think that by not saying your age, you're not going to get any older? Uh, no, but it's, you know, it's it's only a number, Alex. Huh? It's only a number. It's only a number. Well, so let's, let's see the two of us here together at the same time. There we go. There? there we go. I haven't, I haven't got the, the two cameras balanced out that well. My camera's a new camera. Should I move back? No, no. Forward? You look fine. You're fine. You're fine the way you are. It's just I never can quite get these, these, these cameras balanced so they look right, you know, so that you're, you're as colorful as I am. Colorful as ever. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me see if I can, if I can actually do something to change your, uh, your uh, uh, configuration here. Let me see here. Uh, if I uh, turn down the brightness a little bit, do you look better? No, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, do uh, how about how about act? Oh, saturation. That's it. There we go. Oh, that's fine. That's good now. That's good. Okay. Apply that. Save it that way. Do you look okay? I, I think guess. it's time to open I up the. Uh... the no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Let me see here. Well, you're a little bit too, too colorful. It's now. okay. Just leave it. It's all right, I guess. I don't know. I I have no idea. I give up. Huh? What do you mean you give up? I'm the one that has to do this damn I'm thing. I'm the one that has to hear it. You know? Let me let me just uh. turn the color down just a little bit. Uh. Just a little bit, okay? Just turn the saturation down a tad. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. That's all right. That's good. You can't see it. Don't look. Don't look. Gosh, I'm just trying to make you look look pretty, you know. And plus, you're wearing a shirt that w does what I we need call. The, I need the Elizabeth Taylor. No, but wait, Oz wait till you see filter. this. Wait, wait, wait till you see this on on Monday, because it you're, wiggles. You, no, it's 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 moraying. Yeah. It's ma moraying. Well, that's just the way life is. Look at that. You look like your body is on fire. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, only if it's small. I think if people are watching this large. It, yeah, it's okay if it's large. Okay, all right, you're not more right. Anyway, hello. So Hi. it's your birthday, and you won't say how old we you are. We don't have to talk about age. We had a nice time today. What about your age? Stop it, how Alex. Old are you? I'm going to go leave. What kind of an old bag have you become? I'm old enough. Huh? I'm old enough. Yeah. So well, you see, I mean, I don't want people to think that I have a child bride here. I, I don't I think certainly it, I don't. don't. Think you gonna, don't think there's going to be a mistake made that way? I don't think there would be any confusion there. You know, I'm wearing my jeans tonight and sitting down, and my balls are being crushed. I'm wearing my jammies. You see, I decided tonight that I would actually wear my jeans, right? So that I could, I could dress up for you folks, rather than the pajamas I usually wear. That I'm here. wearing. Yeah, that you're wearing. So anyway. So we had fun. We went down to um, Union Square. Yeah, to Craft. To Craft, which is one of uh, Tom Colicchio's restaurants. Yeah. And it was great. We've been there before, and it was just a lovely dinner. Yeah, it was. Oh, it's very good. I had yeah. the, uh, what did I have? I you had the ribs, short ribs. Short ribs, which I've gotten at, I uh, went and got them at uh, this other place we go to, um, Bapo's, which is owned by... Uh, What's his name? The guy who Lydia, the it, Lydia Bastiani and her son, son. and also the, the guy who wears was this, the clogs, clogs on his shoes, <laughs> whatever his name is. And uh, the, I had the the, uh, the the you know the, the ribs short there, ribs. short ribs there, and they were not no, Dry. I didn't like it. But I, today you yeah. liked it. Oh, this was oh, it was just. A, a treat in my mouth. I could have gone yeah. for another half an order. Yeah. It was that good. You know, it was one of those kind of things. 
but uh, um, it was amazing, just amazing. Um, gee, we don't have a lot of people watching us. It's amazing, too, because usually when you and I are on, they, you know. We're arguing. We ought to start arguing. They'll start watching, I, you know. But S- I, Sunday is the New York Marathon. Oh, I want to say something. Yeah. And I want to get this clear, because you said there were no advertisements on my Facebook. On my, oh, on my, yeah, the, I finally found ads on my Facebook they're page. they're all over the place. No, but on my Facebook page, there aren't any. No, but when you go but when to you the, go to the home, home where it's got like all the people you're line. following, yeah, the, the timeline. Line. I never go to that. I go to that all the time. I don't time. care about anybody else but me. I, well, that's true. <laughs> but if that, there you have ads, a couple of ads. Well, there. you know what I found? I could be Googling, let's say I'm looking for a silk black shirt, a uh, you know, blouse, mm-hmm. and I'm Googling different stores and, you know, around, and all of a sudden I go to Facebook and there are these ads for black silk shirts. I mean, it's amazing, yeah, whether the, it's shoes, you know, I'm whatever not, I am yeah. Googling, it gets one to my Facebook page. Do you page. feel there's anything wrong with that? No, but it's just interesting yeah. how it happens. Because I mean, I bought mascara. I mean, I bought a lot of stuff Tim, off Tim of the Tim the other night seemed to be bothered by that. And my feeling is, number one, you're getting Facebook for free. So if they want to hustle you with ads, okay. But better yet, if they're hustling you with ads that you're interested in, all the better. Yeah, but all it's right? interesting how they pick that up from other searches. Yeah. Because I do a Google search, and all of a sudden, that product is on Facebook. Yeah. Which is, blows me away every time. Yeah. Well, I, I, I will, like, go to B&H Photo, for instance. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, you'll see it. And then B&H Photo will show up yeah. on, on, my, you know, yeah. on my searches and everywhere yeah. else that I go using Chrome. Yeah. But, you know, look, the browser is free. The service is free. They, 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 they're not doing this because they love the human race. You know, they're doing this because they want to make a profit. And so how do they make a profit? By selling ads. And if the ads sell, people will buy space. Well, the problem is it's they sold, what, 30-some thousand ads or Russians put 30-some thousand? So that's fine with me. You know, if they're ads, it's it was what I think I bo- I'm bothered by. And the political I think a lot comments. Of, a lot of people were bothered by was the uh, the fact that they also started up pages. Yeah. And uh, uh, they had something like 130,000 pages, yeah. uh, Facebook pages. So th- there, that's kind of conning people. But when you have an ad, an ad's an ad. You know, if you say, I have an ad, here's an ad. Hillary, what a cunt, you know. Uh, Fine, it's an ad. No, but they had ads like that. The the Association for Better uh, America. That was really a, a Russian thing. Yeah, but and all I'm saying is, so what? They they had the b- money. They bought the time. It That's threw a, that, an election off, Alex. No, it, it, it no. It you know who? No, I'll tell you who threw the election off. The American public threw the election off. Yeah, the American true. public, if they allowed themselves to be snockered in by this shit and didn't just vote their heart, okay, then I'm sorry. You yeah. know, I got to blame the American public. Yeah. That's where the final problem rests. You know, I hope you're satisfied, America. Fuck you. You voted for Trump. It's okay. True. So, I mean, um, uh, don't go around trying to say, oh, well, they, you know, they jimmied this and they jimmied that. There is always opposition advertising. I'd like to know how much of that kind of thing that the Democrats did during this election. You know, nobody's asking that question. They just want to know what the what what the Russians bought. They don't care if we throw our own elections. You know, so I just know that the it's just such a disappointment being in this country and seeing what's happening. I mean, there's there's regulations that are being abolished that will, you know, create issues for decades. Well, you didn't get to hear last night's show because you only listened to the show at work. Right. Uh, but I was saying that, you know, the terrible thing about it all is is that that um, we had a citizens panel. I said, I can bring up a lot of topics about things that Trump's doing, and most of us aren't really going to be affected by it. This stuff, this, this whole income tax thing, which they say is tax reform and jobs creation or something Bullshit. like that. There's a there's a separate there's that a whole trickle down economics that doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, but anyway, well, you got look, you got it. Somebody was saying today on MSNBC that you have to admit 
that in his time in office, that we just got a new jobs report, and it, it, it unemployment is down. That's right, but it had been to, going to down. Its lowest, but it had to, been to, going to down. To its lowest amount in, 18, in 17 had, years. But it had been going down but steadily. Let's, let's give him a little bit of credit for that. Not him necessarily, but whatever confidence he has created in that uh, business, in, in the people who buy stocks, that they feel safe buying them under Trump. See, I mean, that, uh, uh, I mean, I mean oh, or hiring people under Trump. You know, we can make more investments in our businesses because he's going to take good care of us. Yeah, you, you know. see that. So, I mean. Uh, he's going to pay for the fucking but wall. Janet Yellen, Yell, Yellen, Yellen is her name, Yellen. who was the uh, Treasury Secretary. No, no, she's uh, Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve, okay. Uh, she. Um, she's leaving in February. She's le leaving in February. She is probably more responsible for the drop in Absolutely. unemployment than any other single person. Uh, so, but Trump is gonna take credit for it. Of course. And let's see what happens when she's gone and let's see what happens to the unemployment. You know, And I don't care about those unemployment statistics. I'm not working and I wanna work. I really do. Well, go look. There aren't any jobs. Well, maybe other areas. Oh, you like McDonald's? <laughs> well. <laughs> the McDonald's won't hire me. I'm too old. Look, you're too old, man, old man. Old you know, man. Where I could, probably could go is Walmart because they hire these greeters who are like 90 years old. But you have to stand, which I couldn't do. Oh, I could do that. All that's, day? Yeah, it's no big deal. I don't care about Be that. Be a greeter. But I'd have to work at Walmart, and that, that is against everything that, oh, absolutely. I, that I believe in. Absolutely. Okay. But, you know, we were saying this uh, as we were walking up the street tonight uh, from the lovely dinner that we had. And after I showed you this new app I have that you hold up at the sky and it shows you exactly where all the stars are and, and all the, the constellations. constellations are. Uh, but what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, walking. that we were walking. And I was saying that I just can't believe that the Republicans care this little about human beings. And the country. That they would even try to foist this tax reform on us. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that we don't need tax reform. I think the kind of tax reform we need is what I mentioned last night, which was that in the very beginning, we didn't pay taxes, you and me. Corporations paid taxes, and also before prohibition, 65% of the income into the coffers of the United States of America was alcohol, alcohol taxes, okay? So tax that stuff, put a sin tax out, alcohol, uh, tobacco, firearms. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bullets. Uh, uh, and and don't, don't charge us for taxes because really truthfully, how much do we as the tax paying public contribute to the national income? What is our percentage? I don't think it's as high as you'd think it is. Well, I, and what are we getting back? Nothing. That's the point. Yeah. In but, fact, we're, but, get, we're getting back less. Gonna, what are they going to do with Medicare? What are they planning on? To slash it. To slash, but slash what? I don't know. They just said cutting Medicare. They're going to cut all the social programs that have been so successful. I mean. Oh, Medicare is incredibly successful. Yeah. EPA. They want to abolish and it. And by the EPA. way, Me Medicare has over the years paid for itself. But unfortunately, that, that and Social Security, which it's all part of have paid for themselves, and we'd be rolling in fucking cash in those areas if it weren't that the government came along and said, hey, we have a piggy bank we know we can steal from. Well, it's exactly what happened with the post office. Huh? The post office was also a money-making thing. Yeah. And they stripped it. Yeah, but but the point is that it, it's, well, now with stamps at $3 a piece or whatever they are. We buy the forever stamps. I, 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 I buy the forever stamps, and then I don't use them. You know. They're still well, good. Well, when's the last time you ever mailed a letter? Yesterday. Where? <laughs> in Where? my office. Where? Oh, in your office. Yeah. But I'm saying you personally, when's the last time you mailed a letter? Well, I... That didn't have return postage on it. Well, I my, my condo fee on the first. You send a check? Yeah. They won't allow you. They don't have it set up. They don't have what set up? Did Automatic you... payment. I have to send the check. What, what, what is this a bank? This is the condo association. Oh, the, oh, the condo association wants a certain fee every month. For me. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is that? It's about three ninety a month. Oh, for what? Condo what you, fee. What do you get for? What do you mean condo fee? What's the condo? The fee? super. The the the. 
the halls, the the all the joint stuff, the, yeah, the oh, maintenance of the building. The maintenance of the building. Yeah. Okay, and then you pay how much of a payment for the part uh, for the uh, condo? Well, the condo I'm paying extra, so get rid of the mortgage. I'm paying like fifteen hundred. Uh, yeah, for fifteen hundred a month. Right. Where, where are you getting all this money? You're hooking. You're not telling me about no, it's coming out of my salary. It's coming out of your salary, uh, because that so that's pretty expensive. It's about eighteen hundred dollars a month to keep that. Well, right. five hundred of that is extra going to the principal. Yeah, yeah, but I'm still saying it's a that's a chunk of money. Yeah, that includes taxes. I mean, once you get the thing paid off, which, which will be three years, which will be in three years, you're going to be home free. Yeah, and I have a yeah. tenant right now. That covers the taxes and the condo fee and the mortgage, so it's a wash. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so so it's taking care of itself. Yeah. See, what I love are these. They have houses here. They're kind of like townhouses, I guess, that they put up for middle brownstones. In, for updated mid brownstones, but they're not for, brownstones for middle income families. Yeah. And what they did is they put in these these two floor apartments. And three floor, three story uh, brownstones with a um, rental in the basement. In the basement. Walk off have, the street they, into they the have, they, they have another apartment that you can rent out. With, so a, what, with what, a separate entrance, everything. So what you could do was rent that out and be paying for the rest of it yeah. every month. Yeah. And I think that's a great idea. And then I noticed, but you know what I noticed? I went looking at just regular old townhouses. They were all that way. They all had another apartment. It wasn't an apartment, it was the service entrance. It's where all the food came in. It's where all that oh, stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah. Because the kitchen was but on. But they that turned first... that into another apartment. Yeah, so the they kitchen. Could rent was, it out. The kitchen was on the first that first floor. Hmm. That's where the. And the the dining room was right above it, and there was always these dumb waiters. No, but the I think up. these actually looked like they were made to be apartments. These things underneath. They were service the entrance at the turn of the century, if you oh, look oh, at them. Well, those, well that's turn... when they were built. I don't think they were all built turn of the century. Well, they weren't built in 1950. How do you know? I know. Oh, really? So there. Okay. Meanwhile, it's 1022, but I'm just, it's just a... What, what do you, you know something? It, you're terrible. You're Why? terrible. It's terrible, you know, that you, uh, that you, you, I come here, uh, to begin with, I said to her, she wasn't in here when the show started, we, we started the show, and I said, are you coming in? Oh, I forgot. I was looking at my birthday wishes on Facebook. Isn't that nice? People it you never nice. heard of in your life no, it's wishing because because they got a little thing that said, "Wish, do you want to wish Marjorie a happy birthday?" And all they had to do was go click. I think it was great, and some of them I responded to. So there. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, my I didn't get one from you because I'm here to tell it to you. Tell happy me. fucking birthday! Oh, that's real nice. Happy fucking goddamn motherfucking cock sucking birthday! That's real nice. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Now, happy birthday. Thank you. I'm, I, you know, I'm very happy for you. I just don't, you know, I don't, I don't like birthdays. Well, considering the alternative, I mean. No, 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 but everybody makes a big deal about their birthday. Hey, why not? Why? Why not? Why? I think people should make a big deal about me every day. Uh, well, that's good for you. So that's my feeling. But let I, let the celebration continue. But you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna really have a uh, a, a deal, if I'm really gonna be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what, you're, what are you playing? I, with? I didn't touch anything. What, what do you, you all of a sudden you start playing with stuff? Stop it! I've got to plug that into. So what were you just saying? You forgot. I forgot. See, this is getting old fun. Huh? Yeah. Well, I uh, no, but uh, uh, no, but anyway. So you, you know, I just, I just see that uh, birthdays are a pain in the ass. No, I like birthdays. You know, and, and in my office we do cakes. So <laughs> my boss, who's a male, like every other male, doesn't know. So I had to put this thing on his calendar, and it comes up yearly. Now that big party you held for me one time at Gotham Bar. That was and your seventieth. My seventieth. Yeah. Was that a surprise party? Yes. Yeah, because I walked in and there were all those people. And you I, and I were just going to have dinner. And I did that in the hospital. Yeah. It was right after I came out of the hospital, and I did all the planning and it was in really, the hospital. Yeah, yeah. So the only time anybody ever did a surprise. Well, that's party why I for did me. it because you said nobody ever did that. And I liked me. it because for the most part they were people I cared about. Absolutely. Well, maybe with the exception of Michael Billy. Yeah, but, you come know, on. Was... Michael Billy's great. Oh, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure. I follow him on Facebook. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. 
Anyway, it was a nice night for you, wasn't it? You were yeah, surprised. Yeah, it was a really nice night. It yeah. was a surprise. Yeah, my get, get, Steve was there and Steve Adrian and, Adrian. and uh, uh, Albert. Albert and uh, who else? There were some. It was Michael Billy, and then there were there his, was, his his Matt. I, I, yeah, his his now husband. Yeah. Uh, and I think what was, else? Uh, I think that was it. I, that was that it. Yeah. Yeah. But it was nice. It was very Two, nice. That was the only time I really enjoyed a birthday. Four, six, seven or eight people. Yeah. It was nice. It's the only time I ever really enjoyed a birthday. Really? Yeah, I mean, except when you're a kid. And when you're a kid, you always enjoy your birthday. Well, my birthday falls around Halloween. So my birthday parties were always Halloween parties. Oh, okay. Always. Yeah. But... Put uh, costumes on and the whole thing. Yeah, it's only... Yeah, well, you're, you, where'd you go? As a witch? <laughs> uh, it's 1025. Just it's actually, saying. it's almost 1026. On yours, yeah, it is. Listen, if you don't want to do this every week, I do like it's to okay do it. It's okay by me. Well, I like your rants. Huh? Your rants have been very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm tending to go back to them again. I think it's great. Uh, uh, it, but I just figure I have nothing to say. You, you know? have a lot to say. Well, I'm, I, you know, I'm getting to the point well, where it's. I used to be able to. If you asked me to talk for two hours straight, I could do it. And I don't know if I can do it anymore. You can do it. You know. Uh, but I do find that when I go on those rants, I suddenly look at the clock and it's, you know, I've done it, been going for a half hour. Yeah. Uh, you and, still got it. You know, nah, I don't have it anymore. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I've yeah. lost it. I've <laughs> lost <laughs> it. <laughs> All right, why don't I swing on over? So anyway, I, I got you a, a birthday card today. Yes, you did. You yeah. went in today, like an hour before we had well, dinner. Well, no, I, the thing was, I, I wanted, first I wanted to find you flowers in Union Square, and I was at the wrong end of Union Square because all I could find were cassava melons, you know, <laughs> and, and pa pl potted plants. Well, you don't and walk by the around. way, you lost your cactus. I know it fell out the window, and I was caring for it so much. I had a new little... I wonder if somebody got hurt. I don't know. I thought it went down on the on the right before right, the terrace below us. It didn't it? Didn't no. I'll look in the well, street. Well, I didn't see it in the street when we. Well, were it could have been up. the sidewalk. It could have been you know where it goes down. Could have been there was an ambulance that took the person with the cactus it's stuck a in his head. Tiny little away. cactus, and it was so windy this afternoon. I put it out on the on the. I just it was a stupid thing to it do. It was stupid. Well, you're gonna get another cactus tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I was almost going to name the cactus. Oh, but did you see it had new spurts uh, and everything? Yeah, you know, I was going to name it. What, what's it? I was going to name it Groot. Groot. Oh, yeah, Groot. Yeah, yeah, Groot. Groot was cute. Yeah, in the, well, in the... get another one. I'll call that one Groot. Okay. Thorny Groot. I'll get one tomorrow. Yeah, but uh, she no, she put it out on a ledge. I just, just to knew. get some sun because it was like. Do you believe it's in the seventies and it's it, November? I knew, it, I knew it wasn't going to last. I knew it wasn't going to live. Because I knew that that thing would fall, and, and you don't put anything out on that ledge. And I, then I'm afraid that somebody got hurt from this thing falling. Did, did you stop to think about that one? Shit happens, Alex. What do you mean shit happens? <laughs> There's probably somebody right now looking for who to sue. Anyway. And I'm pointing at you if they come knocking on the door. It's I'm, time. I'm turning you in. It's time. But, um, yeah, no, I, it, it was only a small little pot, though. Right? Yeah, it was a tiny a little, little cacti. Little, cacti. little tiny a little cactus baby. plant. It was no, so well, cute. Here, here she comes over here now. Romeo uh, over and over. Romeo over, over, lay me down and do it again. again. Yep, 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 yep. Let me, uh, let me uh, get rid of this. And let me uh, bring up the uh, Skype Hi. lines here. And, uh, so who's this Brian Paskin? They're, 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 I don't know what those things are, to tell <laughs> There's you. There's Jeff truth. Stein. Well, I know. but uh, that, Is there anyone uh, else you know? No, no but those, uh, she's talking about this, folks. Uh, let, me, let me move this up to here. She's talking about uh, the names this, the screen, this screen there. See that screen with all those names and stuff? You get it too. Take it away. I, who knows what it is? You know, I have no ah, idea. Look who's calling. Oh, well, wait a minute. Phil Meyer is calling, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and uh, uh, let me see here. Let me, uh, trans hey. let me transition to him. Uh, right. Fade over. There we go. Hello, Phil. Hi, Phil. How, how are you? How are you? 
Caitlin, I want to wish Marjorie a happy birthday. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody yeah. wishes me a happy birthday. Well, wait a minute. Tell them about the card I got you. So I couldn't find anything, couldn't right? Couldn't find flowers. Couldn't find flowers because I, I, I want. They don't make those anymore. I the reason I they wanted do. to get the reason I wanted to get them at Union Square so they would be fresh. And, and they and, are. And, and just didn't know where to look. And if I bought them like at the drugstore, they'd be dead by the time I got down there. So the last anyway. time he bought me flowers, they were dead. They were dead. Yeah. Get the plastic ones. They last a long time. <laughs> yeah. You're out. Of, you know, you're out of sync now. And as soon as somebody calls, you will be in, in sync. In I cannot sync. figure that one out at yeah, all. Yeah. Uh, in sync. Uh, boys in the. Uh, in the what yeah. was the name in, of that in, band? In, anyway. Anyway. So I got. I went to CVS in and sync. I got her a card. But there were so many birthday cards, and I was in a hurry. And I, uh, they had them for relatives, but it didn't say anything like for a wife. So I right. got her one, and what did it say? It was a grandmom. It was happy birthday, grandma. Grandmom. <laughs> well, you might have done that on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Look how out of sync he is. Now watch well, when somebody the next person when somebody calls, else calls, they will be in sync. Is Louis going to call? Louis, uh, I know. And uh, husband. Oh, well, he, he was going to figure out how to get on to um, Facebook. Yeah. yeah. But it's oh. it's easy, right? At, at your website. To get on, yeah, you just you you you, you know. Louis yeah. sounds like somebody else is doing it right well, now. Then, who's Kevin? Uh, see, you're about about three seconds off. It's really strange. Well, as soon as somebody comes in, yeah, somebody else call, and then all of a sudden, Phil will be in sync. Yeah, well, I think you like it better when I'm out of sync. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, it bothers me because when I do interviews with people like Penn or whatever. Uh, they're always out of sync. And if I could have somebody kind of call in and there then hang go. up on them. Here we go. Here, here comes Jason. Now watch. Phil will be in sync as soon as Jason is in there. Yeah. Boom, boom, well, boom. you know, if Penn calls, See? you can have yeah. Teller just call and hang up. Yeah. That's yeah, true. yeah that, you're right. You're right. Hello there, Jason. How are you, my friend? Pretty good. Yourself? Yes. Is what's, it Jason that's allowed to call in? Once every two weeks. Once every two weeks. <laughs> hey, uh, that beard makes you look like the guy who drove the car in uh, that uh, Lyft driver in New York. Who, uh, <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about, my friend. <laughs> wasn't a, let's not smirch Lyft. It was Uber. It was Uber. Oh, same thing. They all look alike. <laughs> they all look alike. Yeah. All, all, all the Uber drivers look alike. Here we go. Here comes. Uh, here comes Kevin. Uh, he'll be in sync as well. Hi, Kevin. Hi, How Kevin. are you this evening? Yeah. Three beards. Sync, sync, sync. Yeah. yeah one, three, two, four three. Beards. Four, four beards. beards. Four beards. Could you even grow one, Phil, with your baby face? Uh, nah, I, I, I get stubble after a week. Did you ever try? <laughs> a, did you ever try a mustache or anything like that? No, make with mustaches. I think make people look like child molesters. Okay, well, just and especially the little thin ones. Sit still a <laughs> moment, and everybody out there uh, with your screens, uh, take a. Uh, I wouldn't use a magic marker because it's too permanent. But if you take like just a regular ink pen, just put a mustache on him and see what he looks like. <laughs> I'm drawing a little square one right below his nose. No, oh, really? Okay, good. You take a couple pieces of tape. Do, do a little piece of tape, make him look like Hitler. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I don't have anything that's the right color. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, you I don't do, have anything that's white. Uh, no, I have. Uh, I have some black gaffers tape that would work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, try that. Black gaffers. <laughs> yeah. Just do a little square right here. Yeah, right. just a little square. Do a little, little Hitler. Hitler square. Do a little Hitler one. That'll. Uh, yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be, right be cool. <laughs> be very cool. How you doing, Jason? I'm doing pretty good. How was your lovely wife? What's her name? Uh, she's doing. Yeah. She went out to visit her sisters today, so it was nice for her to get out of the house and go do something, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> and so you're uh, you're uh, 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 you're free tonight. You're kind of like this is a boys' night out. <laughs> is it, uh, there we go. It, it kind of looks like you got it, no, but you got it there. So it looks like there's a black booger coming out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> I'll, let, I'll make it smaller. Yes. Put it across your teeth. You look like a hockey Put player. Put it this way. Put it this way. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, we want the Hitler. We yeah. want the right. Hitler look. It's the Hitler look. Well, I'll do this. Go. There you know. we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Fill your papers. Yeah, hey, that works. That works for me. I don't know about you folks. Um, here comes Jeff. Uh -oh. hey, that Jeff. way's better. Hey, so how's your bike, Phil? Uh, uh, the uh, chrome is scratched, and I'm beat up. 
I didn't ask about you. I was asking about the bike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I had everything fixed, it would be twenty two hundred dollars. Jeez. Yeah. yeah, good old Harley. Yeah. You know, the, uh, that means that the bike has negative value. No, it's probably worth ten grand. It's probably yeah. worth ten grand. Yeah, it's ten years old now. Oh, I see. Okay. So, what model uh, is it? Uh, Dyna Street Bob. A what? A, a Street Bob. It's uh, Dyna is the uh, is the uh, genus <laughs> Harley Dyna, and then uh, Street Bob is the model. So it's like a bobber street. Uh, uh, you know, it's like the None bobbers. None of this makes 1950s. any sense to me. Okay, in the 1950s, they used to strip the bikes down and uh, make them very, uh, very basic. And so this is uh, what it looks like: is it mimics those uh, bikes of the 50s. Uh, uh, got big fat tires on it and everything. Uh, no, it's uh, uh, 180. Oh, okay. Or, or it's either a 180 or a 165. I don't remember. I think it's 180. What? Those are stuck, yeah. Yeah. Although I had, put a 21 inch tire in the front instead of the 19. So if you had a big old fat Sorry. tire in the back, you wouldn't have spilled. Uh, no, those big fat tires make it very difficult to uh, maneuver. Uh, right, Kevin? Uh, uh, mine's the, the wide, but it's not that wide. Yeah. Yeah. It's the size up. Yeah. But it's a soft tail, you too. It's bigger. So, anyway, yeah. this is our birthday girl. She won't say how old she is, but happy birthday, look at, Marjorie! Look at twenty nine. Look at look at the two of us. Who looks happy older? Birthday, who look, Marjorie. Who, who looks you. older? You. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course, I didn't have any face work done, but I'm not only saying, only saying. Did, yeah. <laughs> a few uh, years ago, she went in and had a face uh, thing, and uh, I I think it. I think it may have held to a certain extent. I did? No, it held. The, the face job. You yeah. Know. You're digging a hole, Alex. Yeah, You're digging forget, a hole. I'm not, I'm not going to go any further with this. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I wouldn't mind getting rid of my, uh, you know, down here. Uh, yeah. under the, You're under still the on the sink a little bit. That's strange. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what the hell? Who cares? It's only, it's only, it's only, Phil. it's only the citizens panel. It's only Phil. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you yeah. going? Soon. Soon. Oh, okay. It's just, you're always so in, desirous of getting out of here. Well. You know. But uh, it's she, her birthday. It's yeah. a special night. She had two glasses of wine. I didn't check to see how much the wine cost, but all I know is that I used to date women who didn't drink. Okay. And so I get away from dinner with a certain price. With her, I have to add about $30. Because she made the two, reservation. Two glasses of reasonable wine. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, uh, you got away with women that didn't drink because you'd look at them before the date and say, you know, I really don't like women that drink. <laughs> so, no, it, was, it wasn't that. that I, was just, just, I just saving thirty bucks. It's just that for some reason I never uh, had uh, uh, new women that would order a drink with dinner. You know, I didn't, wow. I didn't date them. I, I didn't go out of my way to not date them. But you know why? Because they were they were doing lines of cocaine in the bathroom. Yeah, but I mean, what, what, <laughs> what they what they charge for wine Today. in restaurants? I mean, you know, it's maybe where we were twelve to fifteen dollars a glass. Maybe. Well, I mean, if you're having a you know a two hundred dollar meal, that's that's a nice little chunk out of that uh, dinner. By the way, this is something that's really got me amazed. I, so I get my first bill for Fios, which is with the installation and everything, and it's $335, which is what I was paying before with Spectrum. But that was for the first, for the installation, all of that. Then I have something else installed, and, I, and they, they're going to charge me $100 for that, stretched out over three payments. Why, I don't know, but it's $33 a piece. So last month... My bill goes from that 300 some odd down to $221. I get the bill this month. Guess what happened with it? Back up to 335. No. It went down to 163. Boom. <laughs> and I you know, took the $100 off that you paid the month before. I bet you they credited you. No, they did. There were a whole bunch of things, like two hundred and eight dollars worth of what they call discounts. Yeah. On this thing, and I a lot of these discounts I think keep going for about two years. So you hear I'm, that, Jason? 
Yeah, but your company I, could do that. I mean, I've got this this gig up, not in this building. I've got this gig up, gig down pipe, right? I've got all the cable channels with every premium channel, and I'm only paying one hundred and sixty three dollars a month. Marjorie, he's bragging about his pipe. Yes, he is. <laughs> and with that, I'll say good night. See, well, see how how far behind night, how far behind uh, Phil night. is. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Get lost. Last year, good oh, night. Now, now look Last what you did. Yesterday, I was a uh, hundred years behind on the Italy story. <laughs> yes, you were. You were. Talk a little yeah. bit, Jason. Let me see if you're in sync. Jason, and, you know I'm not seeing Phil being out of sync he, with me. He he's seems not fine. In, he's not in sync yeah. either. And really no, he, Jason is on Skype. He's in sync. I don't know. I, I'm not looking at Facebook, so uh, yeah, that's why I'm saying on Skype. To me, you're in sync. Yeah. yeah, but now that we've got Mike in, everybody I think is in sync now. So I mean, stuck his finger in a light socket. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you. <laughs> at least I got hair. <laughs> yeah, I can't figure out the sync thing with with Skype. But the minute somebody else comes on, look at him. Everybody's in sync. So, yeah. You know, when I'm listening to it on iTunes, I can't tell. Well, I know you can't tell. It is in sync all the time on iTunes. By the way, you know, if you have Echo, which is the uh, the uh, new you know thing Amazon has, Amazon Echo, all you have to say to Amazon Echo is, uh, uh, Alexa, uh, tune in Great American Broadcast Network, and it'll come right up on your on your Echo. I saw that on your uh, website today. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. At gabnet.net. Yeah, it's like it's nothing that I had to go out and set up and all so, that, but I'm, we're on so, TuneIn, so it goes it automatically goes to TuneIn. And then every time you just go after that, you go uh, Alexa, uh, TuneIn, it will say last pl playing last station listened to, Great American Broadcast Network. And then it'll just always be there for you whenever you want it. So when you're puttering. You what? Did you ever figure out, because I'm a couple of days behind because I took today off uh, yeah. work, so I didn't listen to the last night's show. Did you ever find out why you don't have the advertisements on your Facebook page? Uh, no, because it turns out, I think, that I'm talking about my Facebook page. Yeah. When I go to the, uh, what do we call the news feed or whatever, which is all the people who are posting that you're following, right? Yeah. Then there are ads right. on that page. But there well, aren't on yeah. my page. And, and there I, are, I said I don't have any on my side of my page. It's just yeah. you know, just like a news feed. It's in there. Yeah. You know, like Amazon will have an advertisement. But, but the news I feed. Maybe you had your cookies turned I, off. I, I, no, I, I think it's the news feed that does it. I think yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. If it's on the side, it's because you're looking at it on a uh, like a, a regular computer. If it's on your phone, it just feeds into yes. the. All I use is a tablet and uh, you know my phone. Yeah. And I, I don't have it on the side. You know, it's just right in like a news feed or so something. But I was, was wondering if maybe as those cookies were turned I'm off. To now you can go to a regular computer to see it on the news uh, on on the side. Hey, I'm trying to get, so adjust my out. camera a little bit here. Yeah, what is this? So this Come is here. your new camera. This is the new one. I'm just trying to uh, get it so that it uh, it everything uh, looks like a hand. You know, kind of looks know, like that. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm trying. I'm just <laughs> trying. Let's see to, the Alex Bennett. I'm just trying to get this so it'll it'll be. Uh, I don't want that. I want it this way. Yeah, I want say it that hello way. to my little friend. There we go. Well, well, that's fine the way it is. Okay. I like it that way. It's okay. Anyway. So, uh, let me see here. Um, so, uh, uh, what, what's been new with you, Jason? Anything? Nothing. Just, uh, you know, did another fiber project. Like, you know, when they put the fiber in your apartment. Yeah. Just got off of that a couple of weeks ago. And then. Went back to the real world of doing regular installs and repairs, so that kind of sucked. But. Yeah, uh, and and do you uh, uh, are you are you uh, do, what you, you're pretty well sold on fiber, right? Oh yeah, it's it's the future. It's definitely the future. Yeah, uh, I just I don't have it in my neighborhood, which I'm a little pissed off about. But yeah, so just put it in. Keep some of that extra wire from the truck. <laughs> and, you know, that's what I was thinking. I was like, well, I'll just wire my house up first. But, you know, I talked to the engineer. It's not even on their two-year plan for my neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they keep on uh, putting it in, in lower-income areas. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. then become a, uh, you know, just tell them you're a Democrat. That's, uh, they're always claiming lower income. Watch it, Republican. Hey, you know, I was talking to a guy uh, from uh, West Bloomfield Hills uh, tonight. Uh, today, 
Mm-hmm. And he was telling me that houses that used to be $50,000 in, in, in Detroit area uh, are now 200000 He says oh, that yeah. uh, he's, he's afraid that the bubble's going to burst in that uh, real estate market. No, I, I would say the bubble's going to burst in America's real estate market. But, you know, in Detroit, it's, you know, it's just that there are certain areas that are getting the gentrification. Yeah. You know, they're going from, you know, the crime ridden neighborhood that you didn't want to step foot in to, hey, it's close enough to downtown and downtown's been booming. So, yeah, you said after the bankruptcy, those dollar houses are gone, you know, that uh, they're not doing that anymore. They're not dollar houses anymore, but there'll be five, six thousand dollar house, you know, and they'll sell it to you. And then they'll also they're willing to give you like a thirty thousand dollar loan to fix up the house too, hmm. at a low interest rate. Right okay. So, you know, they're, they're doing some good stuff. You know, the mayor in Detroit, he's uh, rerunning again for election, and he's going up against, uh, uh, what's his name, Young, something Young. Um, his dad was the first black mayor of Detroit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, junior. Um, did he get arrested? No, he didn't. But he's know. just, he, he you know, th- this mayor that they have now, he's doing a good job. He's turning Detroit around. And this other mayor, he's just... He's just talking hate speech, you know, about, you know, keeping Detroit black and keeping the white man out type of thing. It's like, you know, you talk like that, you're, you're, all you're going to do is drag down Detroit if you get in power. But, yeah. So I'd say uh, Detroit's kind of uh, cleaning itself up a little bit uh, to bring back the, the people back into downtown. Am I correct? Yeah. The businesses are doing good. It's Coleman Young. Sorry, Coleman Young Jr. is the one who's trying to run against this uh um, Mike sure. Duggan, mm-hmm. <clears throat> which is odd, you know. Detroit is eighty percent black, and they elected a white mayor, you know, and he's doing a really good job. And uh, you know, I work out in the neighborhoods every day. I have never seen a Coleman Young Jr. sign. I've only seen a Mike Duggan sign. Oh, uh, well, that means uh, he'll have support. I, for some reason, I remember that the that the young the father Young had some run in with the law. I'm pretty sure that was the one. Uh, I'll, I'll not, not that I know. Uh, it was uh, Coleman seemed Young? like a Coleman Young. Mm-hmm. But, well, you know, there there's uh, Kilpatrick who you know is sitting in prison still for uh, embezzlement and stuff for Detroit. But I, I just think you, you, you're used to uh, politicians in Detroit in Detroit going to jail. So yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just the one. We're not Chicago. What town? What town was it? I think like Chicago or something like like three yeah, mayors in a row. Mayor to, New Jersey. <laughs> no, New Jersey. Also. No, but oh. Chicago. Yes, Jeff. Oh, you got to turn on your mic, Jeff. <laughs> Every day. All right, guys. Uh, uh, in Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, the the mayor. He was the mayor here. Yeah. And then he got arrested and he goes to prison mm. and he comes back and they elected him again. <laughs> really? Probably at a wider margin. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Uh, it says Coleman, it says Young's yeah. tenure. And didn't, as he, didn't he after that get a talk show or yeah. something? I think you're talking about the one from uh, Rhode Island. DC. Oh, he got yeah, a talk he, show. The, the guy who smoked crack in DC. Uh, and got reelected. Uh, was he reelected from jail, or uh, uh, I remember shortly that guy? After. Yeah, or shortly after. Uh, on Young, it says his uh, tenure as mayor is blamed in part for the city's ills, especially the exodus of the middle class, uh, drug dealing, gangs, and rising crime rates. So, uh, what mayor was that? Uh, that was uh, the Coleman Young, the father. Sure. That, but when he got elected, or shortly thereafter, when the riots happened and stuff, and that's what did a lot of the white flight. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, okay, yeah, and there was. I, I, I thought New Jersey though they had problems, but every politician uh, from the mayor down end up in jail for some reason. Like once a week or once a month, somebody people say power corrupts and absolute power absolute corrupts power absolutely. Corrupts, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's and you know that's what we're seeing in one shape or another in Washington. 
uh, with most. I mean, there are there are good politicians, uh, you know, just like the guys that are coming over the border. But you know, uh, you know, the, there, there are good there, politicians in Washington. They just all happen to be Democrats. <laughs> I don't think That's so. Right. No, I'm no, telling no, you this right now. When you think, when you think, you know, uh, uh, the, the thing, I, the discussion I never got to finish with girlfriend was, really? was the fact that we were saying as as I was coming up with it, how can a group of people care so little about the American people that they'd want to see any of this stuff pass? Well, you know, I mean, what is their what is their motivation here? It's pure cruelty. To say uh, we're going to cut back on cruel. Medicare, it's pure cruelty. It, nothing may happen, and it's for well, no, Democrats I don't care about. The, I don't care that nothing I mean, may happen. Republican. Wait a minute, Phil. I don't care that nothing may happen. I care about the fact that something may happen. You know, well, and that the, if, that 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 we are in this t age and time entertaining these ideas that these Republicans care so little for other human beings that they uh, want to see these things passed. Thing. It's not a talking point, Phil. It's a goddamn truth. Yeah. You know? Well, uh, you know, there are four Republican uh, 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 congressmen and, and, two, and uh, from New York, uh, and uh, they are not in favor of the bill, uh, mostly because of the uh, uh, tax on uh, home interest uh, being uh, messed with. They say it's going to hurt their constituents, and they're they're saying that they're going to vote against it. So if that's the case, so they'll then t do away with that part of it, and those four people will vote, and then we'll have the, them stripping Medicare. Okay. You well, know. Then also with the four hundred one k's tax and more on your investments on your four hundred one k's, you know that's. Well, they, said, have, they said they're not going to touch the 401ks. That, that well, was the they, latest. They've said that, but then they've also gone back on it and said, no, that they are going to. It's going to be limited to $2,000 a year. What? Trump said he wasn't going to touch it. Trump said, is Trump in the uh, not the Senate or the Congress? No, but he's so Trump right bills? to sign it. And, yeah, if, well, and, if he, and if he won't sign it, if he keeps his word and doesn't sign it and sends it back, you know, they're, they're going to have to do something with it. Yeah, I, don't, I doubt that. Well, you know, what do you mean if already, he keeps his word? What is his word? Every day there's a different word. Yeah, um, and the next day that word also changes. Not being able to deduct interest on student I mean, loans. Come on, quit, quit assigning to this guy some kind of decency. You know, I mean, there is no decency in the man, and there's no decency in those assholes in Congress who are trying to literally kill me. You know why there's no decency in Trump? Because he's really a Democrat. <laughs> oh bullshit! These aren't democratic. Listen, values. he look. He certainly isn't a Republican either. You know what he is? He he he, he believes in Trump. Fascist. All he believes in is Trump. And if well, if, if the Democratic Party could have gotten him elected to power, he would have been a Democrat. Okay, it didn't matter to him. Yeah, he he's there to stir it up. He's there. To he's clean not there to stir it up. He doesn't know. He doesn't. He's just there to be a pain in the fucking ass. King Trump. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yes, Mike. Trump, yes, Trump, Mike. Trump, Mike Trump, Scott, Trump. Mike's got his hand up. Yes, Mike. Trump, all Trump is, Trump is for himself, and that's it. All he's thinking to his, his friends is, how, how can I screw up uh, America this time? How can, you know, he's always thinking, how can he screw up America? Every time he turns around, he screws Well, well I'll, I'll tell you what is really predictable about him. He wants to do away with anything Obama had anything to do with. He, it's just like, even, you know, if, if Obama gave out free candy to the kids at school, he would stop that program, you know? So I only heard this briefly on the news. Isn't there something about he renamed Mount McKinley? Oh, well, he wants to. Well, no, they know. That already has been renamed. Uh, 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 Indian tribe. No, I'm saying he named it back to McKinley. He named it back Denali. to McKinley from Denali. Oh no, I, he wants to. He, what an asshole! What a fucking asshole! I mean, hey, did you hear that uh, Trump his uh, Twitter account got shut down for 11 minutes? Mm, I heard that last night. Not long enough. <laughs> I go I, shit. Employee. Somebody goes. Oh, well, shit. and, so the, so and in, in his blood, in, in his particular case, we lost about 40 tweets. Yeah. You know, an employee huh? that left a, you a, want an employee to drive, that left a company did it. You yeah. want to drive a Denali or a McKinley? 
You know, the, the, those, uh, those Suburbans? McKinley, I, 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 a, a, a car called the McKinley? I never heard of a car no, it's called a car McKinley. called the Denali, though. It's a Lincoln. Well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, okay. it's, a, it's, a, GM. it's GM Suburban or something. Yeah. It's uh, their, their higher end of their models is the Denali. I right. rather and, ride yeah. a Denali. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no car called the McKinley. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be a flop. Right. Uh, the right. I could do the price of potatoes in China. <laughs> But why does he want to change exactly. back to, 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 I mean, what, you've already done yes. the change. Why does he suddenly yeah, want to change it? What's his, what's his fucking problem? But why do they call it Denali? I missed that well, one. When they called it, the they changed it to called. Denali because uh, uh, the, the Indians, yeah. uh, Native Americans in the area, uh, felt that it should be named after something that was uh, Native American. And that McKinley was not that important a president, <laughs> which he wasn't. And he was never even in Alaska. So. He never went to Alaska. There was no reason to name it after him outside of the fact that, what, did he get assassinated? Was he one of the ones that got assassinated? Yes. Well, there's Garfield. Yeah. Well, there's Garfield. Yeah, yeah. McKinley got a, shot. McKinley yeah. did get uh, Isn't he the one that took him yeah. three, three months to die because they yeah. couldn't find the bullet? He was so fat. Infection or something. Well, he was so <laughs> fat. Was they, a businessman named it after him seeking favor or something. Yeah, but in, in any event, uh, so, so finally the Interior Department, whoever makes the decision, said, yeah, sure, you know, it, it's not important to call it McKinley, and if we want to name it after a tribe or whatever Denali is, then let's do it. Well, now all of a sudden Trump wants to change it back to McKinley? Well, they, want the, they wanted the Denali Casino, uh, but um, that didn't go through, so they just went with Denali. You know, what? It was Denali Indian Casino. It was an Indian casino that oh, he's killing me, Phil. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> Phil wait, 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 wait. Now, here's a new, new, new thing on our program. It's a new segment that I've just created. Uh, it's find the joke where Phil tells it. Okay. <laughs> and in that particular case, I'm sorry, Phil. You have won by giving us a reference nobody here can figure out. Well, you know, uh, I I think in your go back, uh, go back. We seventies. I should go higher. I, you have lost any bit of a comic timing that you've had. You oh know? God! It's 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 over. I, I've yeah. lost all my comic bring timing. Up. Yeah, you know, you know bring, up, bring out the violins, everybody. Yeah, bring you know, out the violins for Phil. Yeah. What we should well, do is I should call I, up somebody like Bubbles, and we should just put him here and have him be the joke doctor. And any time you tell a joke and it sucks, he can kind of punch it up and figure out where the punchline should be. Call him up. Get him on. You know. It's right. past his bedtime. It's past his bedtime. <laughs> it's early here. I know. It's past his bedtime. <laughs> it's uh, not even 8 o'clock here. It's past his bedtime. That's the joke, Phil. That's Come the on. joke, Phil. <laughs> oh, oh. So let's funny. call let's call the joke doctor now. yeah that's the, the, the joke phil it's one to one phil yeah um <laughs> no but it just seems like everything that uh, obama ever did trump wants to destroy you know and i i you know there's some things that uh, you know obama did that were were very good you can know? you name any of them oh sure Okay. Anyway, yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, there's a very funny thing last That's night on the on the Jimmy Kimmel show. Jennifer Lawrence was hosting the show, and uh, she went out on the street and just randomly asked people, "Can you name five Jennifer Lawrence movies?" <laughs> and nobody could, in spite of the fact that she's been in just one blockbuster after another, and she's won Academy Awards for certain pictures and so on. And yet, people were uh, gee, I don't know. You know, I mean, I couldn't, all you I had to say was three Hunger Games, okay? And you got three of them already. I never watched that. I could not name one Jennifer Lawrence movie, except for the one you just named, and I'm assuming that's correct. Well, I could, you know, I mean, uh, uh, was it uh, uh, Frozen uh, River? Uh, what was that thing? The Frozen, Frozen something. They're her first big film. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I just... That was a real freeze out. Yeah. yeah. I think they call her the new Marilyn Monroe, and I don't see that. But no, no. I think she's better looking than Marilyn Monroe. Mm. Yeah. I didn't think Marilyn. She's cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she is. She's she's very attractive, and she's uh, fun to watch, and she's easy on the eyes. Uh, but anyway, um, uh, and I lost. I I lost a hunt. Do you ever like have a bunch of money in your pocket and you go to count it and you go. 
How can that be? Because I had $100 more a couple of days ago. Yeah. And you uh, wonder, that's you, living in New York. You, no, you wonder where you lost it. Yeah. You know? And I'm, Look I'm, in the uh, washing machine. No, it's not in the washing machine. Subway. Or uh, check your uh, dresser where we put your money no, in. No, 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 it's not there. No. None of those places. The my money girl washes my pants. Uh, sometimes the wallet's in there. The, you know, she it, doesn't check. No, but but, but the, the, the money was in my pants a few days ago, and I thought I had $100 more than I have now. So I had to go I to my little happen. stash and take out an extra hundred dollars and pay myself back so I could have some money in my pocket, you know. But you know, I've had two dollars in my pocket. Uh, I, I haven't carried cash. I, I don't know in the last sixty days, I, except for these two dollar bill, two one dollar bills, because I knew I was going to have my car washed and I needed a tip. And uh, uh, I, though I don't spend cash anymore. Uh, everything is either a debit card. Or, or the phone. Yeah. Uh, I, it's like China. They say they're becoming a cashless society. Uh, and the only people that spend cash are uh, the elderly. And uh, I saw a news, a news report on that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the same thing. It's happening to me. I mean, I, I never use cash. Well, I don't know. I, I just don't know what happened where I could have sucked up $100. Uh, although I may have the other day when I added it up added it up wrong and added it up as being too high. What's and that it, bindle in your pocket? I mean, not, I don't. <laughs> Marjorie's card was pretty expensive. Huh? <laughs> Marjorie's card was expensive. Yeah, yeah. Or dinner. Yeah, but I, I, just, I don't know. I don't know where, where it went, you know. I'm just, uh, and at my age, when you lose a little bit of money, it bothers you, you know. Yeah. Um, bothers me at any age, yeah. <laughs> You well, don't want to lose money now. You not know, so much losing, and it's not knowing how you yeah, lost. Yeah, what happened? I'm right? thinking about blowing money left and right just for the hell of it. Uh, and then if it causes any, you know, if I run out of money, I run out of money. And you'll all have to take care of me, you know? You know I know what this is, Alex. Mm -hmm. This is a that's, setup for a Prevagen commercial that's about five minutes from now. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, that, by the way, is Tim, in case people want to know. Yeah, I was trying to call one eight hundred to click and clack. Is he number yeah. one? Huh? I see a number one. Is that Tim? His what? square? Yeah, he's the square. He's the uh, he's the Hollywood circle square. Gets the circle. He gets the square. Yeah, yeah. right. He gets he has the the circle. I, I, I used to be on Hollywood squares, but this is all I can afford now. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes, Mike. This is actually <laughs> yeah. cabinet rectangles. Mike, the uh, the guy you were trying to remember, Bill, when you were talking to, uh, to Marjorie. That's Mar uh, Mario Vitale. Yeah, Mario Vitale. with the clocks. Very good. Very good. And then I just ran down just realized I go, the clock. Well, like, he has yeah, this, it's he, Mario Vitale. He has this restaurant that we go to. Uh, uh, you know, we have like th rotating places we go to for, for, you know, occasions. All right. And Boppo's is one of them. And uh, that's owned by Vit Vitale and uh, the uh, Bastiani. Uh, Lydia Bastiani and his his her son I can't try to remember his name. They own that. They also own Italy. I mean, these guys are making so much money they don't know what to do. Did you with see, it. Italy opened up. I sent you a thing. Uh, it opened today in L in L A. Yeah, well, I'm sure they're opening it. They have one in Chicago, and they, I think yeah. they've got one in in Italy. Oddly enough. Yeah, they they just opened up one today. It opened on Santa Monica Boulevard. There were, were lines. Yeah. Literally lines for people to get in. I mean, these guys, I don't know if you've ever heard of Italy or gone to Italy. Have you ever gone to it, Jeff, since you're living I went to the, to the restaurant to uh, bot, to bot, in Connecticut uh -oh. that they own, too. Oh, really? And, yeah, and I forget the name. Well, I all I know name. is they... And I think he, he owns half of it or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're all they all own it together and then i think they probably have some partners too i don't think they yeah. had all the money to put up for this but it's this huge huge italian food place everything from chocolates to you know to ravioli to you know it, it cured beef about 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 we can go on and on and on it's in it's in little italy no hmm. no it's on um 23rd street here in Manhattan. Oh, right. Like Chelsea, that area? Yeah. 
uh, and it's it's literally it's huge. I the first time I went there was with Albert, and uh, Albert said, "Let's just cut through here and get to the other side of the street." And I we, we went through. What is this? He says, "Oh, this is Italy. Haven't you heard of Italy before?" And uh, we, I sometimes I will go down there and buy some ravioli and bring it home and. Marjorie gets all in love with me because I bought the ravioli from Italy. Mm. And it's just, it's wonderful. The only thing I can't figure out, now you see what I love is to go out, and I used to do this at uh, Costco in California, got these big chubs of uh, salami. They were about this big, okay? And they were only something like, I don't know, 15 bucks a piece or something like that. And then I would just slice them and eat them, slice them and eat them, slice them and eat them. I love doing that. Uh, How do you slice them thin enough? They're so hard to slice thin. Oh no, I I cut them thick and then eat them like a, you know like see I when I was a kid I loved the heel of the salami. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Same here. And so what I do is I keep cutting on a bias, so I'm making myself nothing but little heels, you know, all the way <laughs> down to the other heel. But anyway, I used to get these big ones at Costco <laughs> like this, and they were only like. 15 bucks at that time. Now they'll probably be like 30 or 40. I don't know if you can even get them anymore. And uh, there were the Genoa from San Francisco. I got and, the, uh, Columbus uh, the other day. Yeah, yeah. Columbus. or it might be Columbus. It could have been one or the other. There's Columbus Salami. There's Genoa uh, uh, Salami Company. But anyway, be that as it may. So I figure I want to get myself a decent sized salami so I can do what I used to do with it. And I go down to Italy, and you would think that's where you could get salami. Yeah. Think again. Only on Wednesdays. <laughs> really? What? what it's an Italian place, and the only, the only <laughs> time I can get some salami here is on Wednesdays? Don't those things <laughs> really just <laughs> hang yeah. dried? They're dried. They hang for months. Yeah, uh, you they know? they and, should have uh, tons of them there, you know. Yes, yes, uh, Mike. Uh, do they also sell prosciutto? Oh, yes, of course they sell prosciutto. Yeah. Oh, that's up. As, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, well, that's well, good. they've got, they've got it everything from just you know cured for a couple of months to like three year old cured salami, uh, prosciutto. The, the original food court, the 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 best one I have ever gone to. Have you ever been to the food court in Harrods Department Store? No, but I've been in Harrods Department Store. Well, they have a food court, which is their uh, its basement. It's their basement, and it's all foods and and uh, things like this. Well, that's what uh, you would have you in a food court, Phil. Is food? Well, yeah. You don't go to a food court and they're gourmet, selling shoes. You know, I'm sorry. Every gourmet thing that you can imagine, and it just goes on for for miles. And so I think that all of these other places, whether uh, uh, I, I went to a place in New York years ago called the DDL Food Show. It was D Dino De Laurentiis Food Show. And that was similar to these restaurants. That one I don't think is around anymore. Do you remember that? No. It was in, it was in the... Um, Never heard of it. It was in the 70s. I Never heard of it. No? Uh, Dino De Laurentiis? Okay, DDL Food Show. Uh, but uh, that was uh, similar. But, well, all uh, I'm saying is this is, a, this is a giant supermarket for Italian food. Uh, mm -hmm. you, uh, you could walk out of there spending several hundred dollars and just have one oh. bag, <laughs> you know. And I mean, they, they, and, they're, and they're doing this all over the world. They do, did it in Italy. They've got, got one in Chicago. They're doing one in L.A. I can't remember. I think there are a few others around the country. And um, this one place in Manhattan, I heard, last year grossed $60 million. Oh, that's right. So these guys, these guys are, you know, I mean, the only reason I think Batali is still on television, Lydia Bastiani is still on television, is because they also have their products they sell. They have their Mario Batali sauces. They have the Lydia Bastiani sauces. Uh, and so you, you have to keep, you want to keep your rep going, which was gotten through television. But now, you're, you know, you're a gazillionaire because you've got all these stores. I mean, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Um, the one I love to get a hold of is a good green olive that has a garlic, has a good garlicly um, olive. Yeah, and that, what is that? What is that? Uh, uh, that's one of the pictures at the uh, Harrods Food Court. Uh, you know. Yeah, we don't uh, give a shit about the Harrods Food Court, okay? But uh, it was amazing. used to be used to be uh, a 
place, uh, Alex and everybody, where you can get garlicly uh, good garlic olives, green olives. Are we down? Are we get, you, back you, to you, olives again? Olives are good. These olives are good. Yeah, olives are fine, but you know, They're good. You can't find them that way. What do you mean? I find them all the time. I go to Costco. I get a jar like this of olives. Pimentos and uh, the, the look at these prawns. You know? I did, uh, Phil, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we you don't, know Mike knows prawns. We don't give a shit about that's that's uh, that's the cheap brand. That's the cheap uh, prawns. Yeah, no, these these uh, look pretty good. Yeah. Oh, they have the coffees and teas. But what would you rather eat, shrimp or prawns? Shrimp. Oh, prawns for me. Every really? time, prawns, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's they're the, they're like a dinner in themselves, you know. Yes, uh, Charlene. Turn on your microphone, Charlene. Yeah. Hold the oh, Jeff, Charlene. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? Or? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, no? wait, wait. Okay, now it's going up. Okay. Did you No, now arrest? you... you wait, wait, oh. go, go ahead, go ahead. You're going to arrest, um, right? What? A Weinstein. They're going to arrest, arrest Harvey Weinstein? Mm -hmm. Not before he goes to the Harrods food court. The, oh. <laughs> oh, shut up, Phil. Looks like he's been there a few times. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. They, they, they killed Gore, too. Yeah. You know they killed Gore. What? They killed Gore, Gore Vidal, the movie with Kevin Spacey as a producer. Oh. They uh, killed he, it. You that know, I'm, gl I'm glad you started explaining it because first yeah. I'm going, uh, uh, Al, Gore is, Al Gore is dead. And then I thought, then you said uh, Gore Vidal, and I went, Gore Vidal is dead. I think he has been for a long time. And then yeah, you said, that, oh, dead now too. Well, it was dead a week ago. Where were you? Uh, yeah, I just read that Netflix is dropping uh, Kevin Spacey from the show, but I don't know if they're canceling the they show. They haven't stopped the show yet. Uh, they it, him. Well, they 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 put a uh, house of cards on hold. They've stopped doing production on it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, um, I you know, you were saying the other night, Phil, that Kevin Spacey will come back from this, and I I said I don't think so. No, he that's why he the, played. That's why he played the part so well because he was actually evil. You know, uh, there there's not going to be a trial. Uh, there's a statute of limitations. Uh, all he has to do is say, "Hey, look, I didn't do this. I was just being uh, generous." No, with but there my are a lot of no. But you don't know the latest. Sensitive. You probably didn't listen to me last night, but I had a list of the other things that are now being said about him. They're not. Oh yeah, there was one other guy that came forward. No, no, on there, the, there are a whole, the, whole current bu show. bunch of bunch of people on his current show. About eight of them. Eight, eight people saying eight it people. was a toxic atmosphere in which they were constantly being the younger members of the, of the team. We're being yeah. sexual har sexually harassed by or harassed by uh, uh, by, and, and, by Spacey. And, and did they say in what way? You know, did he grope yes. them? Did groping, he... groping, sexual innuendo, going innuendo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 No. So. so, but these are accusations, and again, well, you know, again, the guy... uh, uh, they are accusations. And I agree with you uh, that there is too much of a jumping to conclusions. Yeah. Uh, but what, it, what you have here are companies who have no morality in and of themselves, who want to save nope. their asses and protect themselves, not only from the bad publicity of being in the Kevin Spacey business, but the fact that maybe they can get sued for some of this because they were party to it. Yes, yeah, but this uh, Jason, Jason's, got Jason's got his hand opinion. up. Jason's got his hand up. Yes, so, Jason. Here, let me ask you this. You know, because I agree with you 100% at first, but now you're saying that there's eight other accusers coming out. Is it that, or is it maybe these companies already knew that it was going on and now it got into the public light and like, oh, well, shit. Well, they, we they, they, they may have known. They may have gotten some complaints and stuff. But on the other hand, they say, hey, Kevin Spacey's making us a lot of money. So let's just kind of turn a deaf ear to this. But then all of a sudden this... But once it gets out in the spotlight, once you it got out of the ear, spotlight, you're liable. Yeah. Right so, now that's such a big yeah. thing. There's nothing they can do now because it, it, it's, it's just out like there. The Republicans, Republicans turn a deaf ear to what Trump's doing. 
He's running the no, judicial system. No, they're not. System. No, they're not. No, it's they're an entirely re- different situation. Uh, 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 you know, it's an no, they're enti- looking the other way. Tim, it's an entirely different situation. In the, in, in, we're talking here about a business that's trying to protect its ass, that's, and, then, and it's going to let something continue as long as it's not a problem because it's making you money. All right. see, it's, right. it's, it's, right. a yeah. brand. Uh, it's a brand trying to protect yeah. its ass. Uh, Jeff? But, but Wait, J- Jeff, has, Jeff, has, Jeff has his hand up. Jeff? At, at the beginning of the show, uh, they probably all protected keeping the show. Yeah. It was because they're bringing in all kinds of money. Now they're at the point where they don't want they want to protect themselves from not getting sued and and not ruining their brand. Uh, well, I mean, we could also brand. say these people who were offended, which it they, according to a lot of people, this happened in the first uh, in the first year of the series. These yeah. allegations, and uh, what about the people who were being groped and goosed and uh, sexually harassed. Uh, where were they? Or did they say, hey, I've got a pretty good job here. I better not, I don't want to fuck it up. That, but that now that, wait choice. a minute, now that Kevin Spacey is on the line, <laughs> uh, is the time to come forward. Everybody jumps on him because he no longer is going to be the wage earner for them. And so they're joining <clears throat> in on the, on the, uh, on the melee. And all these people, I wouldn't be surprised if some of these people turn out to start suing Netflix. Yes, Charlene. Yeah, don't take this as that I'm trying to change the topic, but when you're saying that they don't want to get sued, I heard that the uh, casino and the promoter, you know, the Vegas shooting, the the people are starting to sue the casino or, you know, that hotel. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, they're also trying to sue the promoter of the concert and the the people that arranged the whole thing because they said that it wasn't uh, planned for, you mm-hmm. know, like uh, some sort of escape route and all this other stuff. So do you see how everybody does that? Like they, well, well they turn yeah, it well, so I mean, to begin with, I don't think suing. I don't think they'll see a penny. It's not the Mandalay Bay's responsibility that somebody broke their windows and then started shooting a gun out of there. I don't know, man. You bring that many guns into a hotel room, I think there's some uh, responsibility there. No way you could have seen it. No way you could have seen it. They came in and... It's it's, it's a question of how soon they called 911, though, once they knew something was going on. I think that's where the the time... The timeline... All I'm saying, and the promoter, and the promoter, I mean, is he guilty of anything? Well, you know... He's only guilty of getting a whole bunch of people in one place at the same time. security. Yeah, they said there should no, have been but, better but you, uh, plans, uh, Tim, you know? Tim, you can't have security in an event if you've got somebody in a building a block away or two blocks away. You know, they're talking about escape routes like uh, the, the nightclub fires where you couldn't get out the exit doors. I've been in a... Yeah, well, I, yeah, in no, a no, but I, you know something, that doesn't, that doesn't wash either because this was an outdoor concert. So what do you mean you couldn't get out? There wasn't an exit. Well, because of the fencing, and they didn't want people getting in for free. Well, the, of course. There, there's allegations uh, that they did not have proper exits to let people out fast. Uh, I, 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 ever, how could you have ever thought that somebody would be up there with thousands of rounds of ammo picking off uh, uh, concert goers? I mean, you've got, you to know, pro- right? you've got to prove these people were psychics and knew all this was going to happen and didn't tell anybody. No, no, I'm just talking about uh, uh, normal uh, security procedures. Now, they'll probably lose. But it's going to put pressure on future events to right. think about that kind of stuff now. That's that's the that's the goal, I think. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, Ke- Kevin had his hand up. Kevin, any kind of lawyer is going to line up anybody that was involved, anybody that touched anything. Any lawyer will line up everybody. They're going to line up the the guy that worked in the cafe, right? And absolutely. whatever sticks sticks. I've seen that happen myself. Lawyers, lawyers just want to settle. They go after everybody, and then whoever falls off as they fall off. Bottom feeders. Yep. Damn Republican lawyers. Damn Republican lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, most of them are liberals. You know? No, no. That's just that's but the all fake I, news all, that you're All I'm saying is that I, I, you know, I, I suggested a girlfriend. I said, I'm all for dropping Netflix because I think they're being cowardly in this situation. I think they're trying to just do nothing but save their ass. And, and they're not, they're not, it, to my way of thinking, yes, I mean, Kevin Spacey looks like he could be a, a real creep. 
and he could be a real <laughs> asshole, and he may harass people, and he may grope people, he may do all of that. But it has not been proven in a court of law. And that's what bothers me is when you assume these situations to save your own ass, but throw out any, you know, anything resembling the Constitution of the United States. And, and but, I find that... You know, I, Alex, here's one thing I got to stop you on because you've said it so many times on here about you know an employer impeding on somebody's constitutional rights. Your constitutional rights are protections from the government. I do not have freedom of speech at work. My employer can regulate my speech. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I agree with you no. on that one. But what I'm saying is, is that in this particular case, they are not giving him the benefit of innocence, the presumption of innocence over guilt, which is, but is probably is, something is, in the contract that no, they don't have to. No, no they not, also don't have to have a trial either. Well, no, but what I'm saying is the presumption of innocence is something that differs us from every other country in the world. That's right. It is something we t are very proud of, and we should be, because in all other countries, if you, if you, if you have a problem uh, uh, with the law in England, you're presumed guilty. You have to prove yourself innocent, okay? But in this works country— in, uh, Japan and China. And how about Iran? But again, that's a protection. Why do you bring from the up Iran? What does that have to do with the subject? Employer. Yes, Jeff. No, but you ever see a Jeff. trial in Iran? Jeff, I think you're exactly correct as to what uh, the basic uh, law in the United States is. However, <clears throat> when you're in some kind of a business environment, and it'll include some kind of TV show, there's there's people who have to sign. Agreements and the agreements violates your limits. Usually, in most um, um, situations in show business, you, you, you sign you sign you sign a um, agreement that you will not do anything that will bring disrespect to your employer. Okay, uh, uh, and you can't it, sign away your rights to to something that's illegal. You can't allow. Hold on, an illegal... I'm not, it's not, that's not what we're bringing up, Phil. Well, you can't say that you're allowed to grope me. No, no, I'm saying that you you may sign. Most of these companies, if you go to work at a CBS or an NBC, or a, uh, I don't know if I ever signed one at Sirius XM, but it's it's, it, it's called a, it's called ba basically a morals clause. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, and I, at one point, at uh, I think it was uh, Live 105 in San Francisco, uh, the lawyers came to me and wanted me to sign a morals clause. And I said, I'm not going to sign it. And they said, but you got to sign it. And I said, I don't have to sign it. And you already said, had your contract. They said, why aren't you going to sign it? And I said, because. Why should you? <laughs> you say anything, I, it, you, you could get me for anything I do that brings disrepute to this organization right and they went right and i said that's exactly what you hire me to do you right. hire me to go on the air be this asshole on the air and then one day you're going to say that's the reason we're getting rid of you is because you violated the morals clause fuck you double speak yeah double I, speak. I say i'm only doing my job when i go on the air and act like i'm an asshole and that i'm fucking everybody in town and you know whatever you know it's a character i play on the air but you're going to say I'm I'm you know immoral uh, and I'm I'm besmirching the station because I do this way behavior. Out of yeah, and I said I I won't yeah. sign it, and I never did sign it. Double Good stand, for you, Alex. Yeah, that probably had to be presented at the time of signing the original contract. How can they come after the fact? Or, you know, if your contract was up and then they wanted you to sign something like that within the new contract, you, you could negotiate. But, uh, you know, at the point where you oh, had I, I think this was part. I think this was part of a new contract. And I had it. I had literally had it deleted mm -hmm. and it taken out of the contract. I said, because, you know, you're yeah. asking me to do stuff that is not, you know, uh, what's the term? You know, they what's use? The it, is, it is though, not yeah. is not community standards. You know, you're asking me to be the shock jock, right? That's not community right. standards. And if you, if I do that, and then you suddenly want to get rid of me, you can use that as an argument of why you're getting rid of me. And I said, yeah, I, I refuse true. to go along with that. It, it's, yeah. There's another thing that happens in talk radio that bothers me. How many times have you heard about the talk show host who says something wrong on the air and gets fired? 
Yeah. All right? The time. And yet, what he's expected to do is go on the air, be provocative, be a provocateur, all of those things. And when he does it, and he does it, goes a little too far, all of a sudden, you know, it's like you're walking on a tightrope. It's absolute right. bullshit. You know, you can, it, don't uh, fire, you know don't what, fire you me. You know what's for, worse than the, what? What's worse nowadays? What? The non-disclosure agreements, where if you're not even involved in the bad behavior, you can't even talk about it because you, you're, you know, you're getting paid by the company. Yeah. Uh, and um, that, that's that's. You know, there are whistleblower things that protect whistleblowers. There, uh, there, there not are. If you're, not, not if you're not with a private company. Because you know? a lot of these women, uh, not the women, but the employees that knew stuff was going on, had signed non disclosure. Non disclosure agreements are pretty much agreements that you will not talk about company business. Right. What if it's illegal? What, what do you if mean it's if... borderline? What if it's borderline? Well, I don't know. It's either legal or it's not illegal. It depends it, on where you're talking. You about are. You it. are not. Uh, you, you, no, you've signed a non. Hey, you've signed a non-disclosure agreement. Now, here's the problem. However, many times you sign these non-disclosure agreements because it's part and parcel of you getting the job. Yep. And so, if they're holding the job over you because you didn't sign this non-disclosure agreement, the question is: Were you coerced into signing that non-disclosure? Well, yeah, definitely agreement? coercion. Uh, just like the settlements are. Anytime you get an out-of-court settlement, you got to sign those things. Well, usually it ha doesn't have to do with uh, uh, the case itself directly, but how much money uh, passed through the, each per person's right. hands. So, Can I say something that's a little bit off the thing, but still, you know, well, kind of you've done it so many times before, I don't see why not. Let's all get ready to go. No. Let's to Trump, get ready yeah, to go into the talk show ditch. Okay, go, okay. Phil. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, said that the uh, Justice Department was um, was a joke and an embarrassment and so forth. And of course, the Justice Department is up in arms and you know uh, indignant that uh, he would say this. But he's going to uh, fire but, Sessions. Yeah, that's what he's, what, that's what he's working let's on. Let me finish this. So what what's happened is uh, I like to, Trump, I like to interrupt you like Trump, you interrupt Alex. Well, that's not your job. My job is to interrupt. Well, I'm, 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 my contract's coming up. Well, I'm going to have you. I'm going to have you sign a non-interrupt clause. Yeah, non-interrupt. I will. <laughs> so anyway, uh, well, anyway, uh, you know, and I can't be fired for interrupting. So, <laughs> but uh, so now let me get back to my train of thought. So now he Trump, sees what Trump it's like. Made, <laughs> yeah, Trump made this uh, made this accusation, and what he's saying is is that it's taking too long for things to go to trial. And our Constitution says that there'll be a speedy trial. Uh, for instance, Alex, uh, whether his thing is civil and not criminal, but he's got something that's been going on for, what, three, four, three, uh, three, three or four years now, yep. and you still haven't gone to well, trial. Well, this is, this, is, is an, it, it, this is not criminal. So yeah, it, it doesn't I, I it doesn't it doesn't criminal, fall into that purview but, of well, I, I'm, I'm trying And to make by the way, a lot of trials aren't speedy because the people who are being put on trial and their lawyers slow the process up considerably. Right. And they have the right to do that. In other words, you could have a speedy trial if you want it. Uh, but most people don't benefit. want one. Huh? Yeah. Well you want time to prepare is what they want. Yeah. Yeah, so but, so so you can't be so speedy that the process of justice isn't isn't adhered well, to. He, he wants things to be hurried up, and that's and that's well, what and he, he, he can go fuck that. himself. He he can go, he'd be the first one to he'd be the first one to slow it down. Now the yes. other thing is uh, that guy Bergdahl. Uh, yeah. Today he was sentenced to uh, 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 he was being given a dishonorable Nothing. discharge. Now here's a guy who caused people's deaths because he abandoned his post. No, here. Cause an injury. I don't think he caused uh, any death. Uh, there was two soldiers. Uh, I think no, I don't. Killed I, 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 two I soldiers were injured. Two, uh, yeah, I don't injured. think there was a death. No, there was injury. Oh, okay. And uh, so, okay. So now, you know, what's your point, Phil? Hey, well, he, my point is that the justice system is a joke. This guy should have been breaking rocks and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on he, a second. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me. Let me stop a second. Stop a second. Yeah. Stop a second. Yeah, what, stop the, a second. Phil. 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 He was locked in a cage. Stop. For to begin years. with, you said the fun. He was tortured for five years, Phil. You said that. How's that? Plan? Can you let me say something here to Phil? Because he he said something was absolutely wrong. He said he didn't get uh, he didn't get quick and you know the the justice system didn't work in that case or whatever. 
Right. He isn't under that justice system. He's under the military code of justice, which is an yep. entirely different uh, set of rules, which pretty much is uh, it throws out all your rights. And he yep. was tried by a military tribunal, not by this justice system, Phil. Well, you know, you can, when don't uh, try when to excuse your post. mistake. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, when when you abandon your post, uh, that you know that calls for uh, uh, a, a greater uh, uh, punishment than uh, being dishonorably discharged. Hey, Phil, do you think there could have been a better? He was also a whistleblower. He was a whistleblower too. Bill, do you think there could have been a worse there. punishment than being locked in a dog cage for five years and beaten and tortured? He chose that. He did not choose that. He yeah, chose no, to walk no, away from his plan on that. He talent, and he chose that. That was his decision. No, he didn't choose but, but that. But the military made improvements on how they organize and run their system because of he did have some valid complaints. That was the wrong way to handle them. But th there were things that were being handled wrong by, by commanders. Now, there's a chain of command, and there's a way to deal with it. Right. Yeah. But that's the, the reason he got off easy was, uh, in, in the military justice system, you have the problem of commanders having undue influence on trials. And uh, because the president said he should have been executed, it's even in the decision of that military judge that I can't go overboard because uh, uh, it let, looks uh, like let, I'm being guided let, by the president. Let me, let me bring Matters. up something here, which, which was uh, made a big deal of yesterday, and I, I, not without small reason, okay? And that was that the President of the United States said about the guy who drove his truck into uh, bikers uh, that he should be executed. Yeah. Uh, that is reason enough for a good lawyer to run in there and say, you can't, number one, you can't give him the death penalty. And this has been prejudicial towards my, uh, my client's case because the President Absolutely. of the United States spoke out against him. What's happened is Donald Trump may, in fact, he could. He's prejudiced the whole thing. He has uh, his prejudiced the whole thing. This guy could walk free because of Donald Trump. Yep. Well, maybe not free, but we're not going to kill him. No, but I mean, I'm saying that he could actually, a good lawyer might be able to make a case that he cannot get a fair trial anywhere in the United States because the president of the United States said, quote, he should be executed. Treat him as an enemy combatant. Send him no, to uh, uh, fuck you, Phil. You know enemy combatant. Who gives a shit? The fact the is that you still have you still have law that says that you cannot have something that prejudices a jury. And if you can't find a, ju a fair jury anywhere in this country because they've all been exposed to this, uh, then never, then you may have to let him go. What? No, he'll never go to trial. If he's treated as an enemy combatant, he's they not don't being have to treated as an enemy he's combatant, Phil. Combatant. He's basically a citizen. He has a green card. He has all the rights that a citizen of the United States has because he has a green card. He's, he's, you know, he, he, either you want to follow the Constitution of the United States or not. Go to Russia if you don't want to follow the he rules. He said that he did this for ISIS. He had a note in his thing. Does, he had doesn't doubt, matter. phone doesn't calls matter. on his cell phone. Uh, and and there's and he says that he did it for ISIS. Therefore, oh, okay. So Phil, if, if you did that, you should be able to be treated as enemy combatant. I think so. Okay. And therefore, uh, you can't prejudice. So, so uh, then, what about the yeah, guy in? Uh, doesn't have any rights or as, whatever. Where, where, do you make, where do you make up as, these rules, Phil? As enemy well, combatant. No, wait, no, no. You're rights. you're listening to these bullshit artists in Washington who are saying, "Oh, he's an enemy combatant." Yeah, I believe those those congressmen, those guys are trying to get their trying to get their five minutes on the news. An enemy combatant. Then no, they just forgot to write their letter. Yeah. Uh, Can yes. Hold on a second. Punishment? Jeff. Jeff has his hand. I, th I think Phil has gone to the Rush Limbaugh school of law. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Forgets about the Constitution until it's convenient. Yeah, he's an enemy combatant. Well, you know, right. I know that there's got to be a social program out here that that will cover that. You know, uh, there, there's got to be a way we can just give money uh, and and and. It's and, called public school. Yeah. Oh. Well, that'll help the public, the so, the combatants, the enemy combatants. Uh, have a class in public school. Maybe you should go back and take, uh, you know, uh, civics. Hey, Paul, you're turning into fake news. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what else is new? Yeah, how, who believes in the capital punishment? Does anybody here believe in no capital punishment? I think the capital is a punishment. I believe in no capital punishment. 
I believe in no capital punishment. And, I, and, and the, only, the only reason is that I say this to anybody who says, oh, I'm, I'm for capital punishment. I go, if you, if you can give me one case where, uh, 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 you know, if there's ever been a case where somebody who was innocent who got executed, then the whole system is wrong. And, and, there are, and they have found cases. Yeah, and I said, so tell me, tell me, if you can tell me that nobody who was innocent ever got executed, I'll go along with you that we should have capital punishment. And nobody can come up with that answer, not even Phil, you know. Yes. No, I, or a better way to yes. ask them is, would they, would they sacrifice one of their children, let no. them be killed? As Forget an, about that. Forget about that. Just so if, if one person gets executed who sh was innocent and should have not been executed, and we know that has happened, then it shouldn't happen at all because it's all Absolutely. wrong. It's not worth taking that risk. <laughs> yes, Jason. The only moral way to kill people is to take away their health insurance. Jason. <laughs> you know, so who was it that said this? And I think it was the, basically the best answer that you could ever give was somebody asked somebody who was against capital punishment, would you be for capital punishment if somebody broke into your house and killed your wife and your kids? The guy said, yeah, I'd want to kill the motherfucker myself, but I'd hope as a society we're better than I am as an individual. Yeah. I've right. heard that said by, and, 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 you know, I mean, they say, well, we're doing it for the family so they can have a, a resolution. That's not going to give you. Number question. one, they don't get resolution because it takes so long to execute somebody that they go through it for years and years and years where if you just put the guy in jail and threw away the key, they wouldn't have to deal with that situation anymore. And secondly, now they have the, that so let me finish, Tim. Let me own. finish, Tim. And secondly, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say secondly. Go ahead, Tim. <laughs> no, I'm just saying they have to deal with the death of the of the uh, perpetrator too, which is not good either. Oh well, you forget that the, that the perpetrator also has a family who is going to grieve their loss. Now you've made two right. sets and of victims. I think the biggest I think the biggest argument is the human system of justice is not perfect. Therefore, we should not kill people because you can't correct your mistakes. Yeah, uh, it, I, you know, it, 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 and it, and it's, by the way, it is and it is a known fact. It is cheaper to keep someone in prison for the rest of their lives than to execute them. I was just going to say, right. send them to college in the first place. In fact, California has found it so expensive uh, that they really haven't done it much. In the you Philippines know. and China, it costs a dollar to, to execute no, someone. No, it doesn't cost a dollar. What you're saying is that in China there was the old story that they would yeah. shoot you in the back of the head with a bullet and then they would charge the family for the bullet. Right. And yeah. President well, Duarte of the Philippines says that he kills people uh, himself that, uh, that that have violated. He kills the, drug and, addicts over yeah, there. Right. And, so are you going to retire uh, to the ask you, let me ask you, their systems in Australia? Yeah. Let me ask you a so question. Let, let me ask you a question. Just in case they're wrong. Let right? me ask you a question. And I'll ask it of you too, Tim. If we were to say that anybody caught selling drugs or using uh, drugs would automatically on the site be shot and killed. Would you be for that? I'd say, Population. I'd say we're living in the Philippines. Would you be for that, Phil? Uh, no. 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 How about if we did? I believe in due process. Yeah. Okay. Well, all I'm saying is that Mao Zedong at one point said, after Monday, or whenever the cutoff date was, anybody who we find who is high on drugs will be summarily shot and killed. Okay? Was that Singapore no, or the No, no, that was China. China. I just said China. China. Have you heard of China? I know that's what you said, but uh, that's the same thing Duarte said in the Philippines. I forget about Duarte. I'm not talking about Duarte now. I'm talking about Mao Zedong. Yeah. And, and it's such a bad opiate, he's, uh, opium problem. Yeah, they had 90% of the population was, uh, was uh, drug addicted. Okay, ninety percent. Um, well, all of a sudden, the the the, the, um, the amount of people that were doing drugs went down to ten percent, and those that didn't quit were shot. You know, and probably would have been dead anyway. So, did Mao do a good thing or a bad thing for his country? Because he almost completely eradicated the drug problem. Probably they, did a good thing for his country, but not a country that doesn't stand because of the Constitution. Yeah, and but I mean, but, but no, I'm not asking you about here. You're changing the subject. I'm saying, is what he did wrong? Yes. 
Uh, no, oh, yeah, because the ends never justify the means. Okay, so then, therefore, the country should have gone, continue to go on with 90% of the population addicted. No, there, there had to be no, another no, way. Be more creative. Be, be, be more creative other than just shooting people. You I know, can't believe I'm agreeing with Tim. <laughs> but back in, oh, was, that oh. was in the 1800s, or? No, no, Mao was around, uh, was he World War II? 19, no, 1950 to about 1980-something. When he died, some yeah. of his rallies and in, in college. Alex had a red book. I, I brought one back from yeah. China. I think I did. I, did I, I gave it to you, didn't I? Or gave it to somebody? Uh -huh. uh, I think I gave it to a right wing talk show host. Yeah, at uh, at Sirius. I came back and I got a couple red books with. Yeah, you. it was your the guy who was on air at the same time you were. Yeah, yeah. Here's the bad news: Trump is going to spend an extra day in the Philippines. Whoopee. Go figure. Well, of course. Why is he even going to? He shouldn't even go to the Philippines, in my book. But. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of the Philippines, because uh, uh, you know uh, Rob has a wife who's from the Philippines. It just I just remembered I wrote uh, Rob because we haven't heard from him this week, and I always get worried about anybody I don't hear from after a couple of days. Uh, it, unless it's Phil. If I didn't hear from him for weeks, I'd figure he was dead and just leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, but I, uh, so I wrote him and I, he wrote back, he said he's really been sick this week. He just been, uh -huh. yeah, really sick with a flu or something. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, if you're listening, Rob, we, we wish you well and speedy recovery. Feel better, yeah. <laughs> because That's what he tells his employers, but he's really just setting up his studio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a disturbance in the force. Yeah, but, uh, we want, we want you back with us cause you're terrific, you know. Yeah, he's you know, a good guy. Yeah. Uh, but all I'm saying is that, uh, um, uh, uh, yes, Jeff. Has everybody had their flu shot? No. Yes. I'm not, yeah. yes. yes. I, I had mine. I had mine. Every year we Pneumonia get it. too. Yeah. <laughs> I had a tetanus on Monday. Why'd you get a tetanus? <laughs> sure. I fell off my mark. Oh, oh, yeah, of course. Rash, yeah, right. Of course, yeah. But you, but you, yeah, you, yeah. But you, I think you get tetanus. I get tetanus shots. Uh, yeah, but every, every, every 10 years, right? five yeah. years. Yeah, oh, they five. said I was out of uh, out of date. And pneumonia is every five years, <clears throat> and uh, you know, so. Who's had their um, shingles? Shingles. What five years? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I get shingles. Uh, here we go. I think I had shingles when I was a kid. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, this just came in. Can we, uh, can we get Geritol as a sponsor? <laughs> yeah, uh, let me uh, let me read you this. It just came in. Netflix will not be involved with any further production of House of Cards that includes Kevin Spacey. The streaming service said. Mm. So apparently they're they're getting rid of uh, Kevin Spacey, uh, and and that's. Um, um, who could replace him, do you think? Well, I don't know what they'll do. I mean, you could have another person becoming president. It could be another... That's what I mean. Who, who, who would be a good one to take over as president? Didn't they say they were going to kill him off uh, in the show? They were going to kill off his character? Well, they're going to kill him off without killing him off. Uh, mm -hmm. they, they killed somebody off on Will and Grace this week. Jack Nicholas. Mm -hmm. No spoiler alerts. Oh, yeah, because I, yeah, I, I have it ready to watch, and now you spoiled it for me, Tim. <laughs> Who died, Will or Grace? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, no, that, that was, sorry, so I've already seen it. That was last week's. You watched they that did, show? It, yeah, that's a good show. It, 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 it actually did a very good reboot. It, if you watch it, it's just like it never stopped. No, it's I just, never. The yeah, are a but it, 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 the reboot is like I never watched it before, so why should I watch it now? Ah, it, I I liked the show; it was good, and yeah. I liked it then. I like it now. Yeah, it's almost Vaudeville. You, you know, I gotta it's I gotta say Vaudeville. something here uh, because uh, every night before I go on, all um, uh, uh, Damien talks about is Star Trek: Dis uh, Dis uh, Discovery, the new <laughs> series. Okay. Uh, and, and he, you know, I like people talking about what is their bliss in this world, so I have nothing against them talking about it. But I've watched that show, and I, I like it. I really like it. It's a good show. But there's this one character that's an alien, and he's wearing this mask, right, that has very bad articulation in the mouth. And is yet that there's, the guy that got molested? No, no. Uh, it, no, it, he had good articulation in his mouth. He, he had good articulation <laughs> in his mouth. Um, and, and, and he, it, it, but 
I, 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 you watch this show, and they have all these special effects and spaceships flying through the air, and just, uh, I mean, they spend a fortune on the special <clears throat> effects, and yet they've got this very rigid headpiece this guy's wearing with the mouth that doesn't even articulate well. What's with that? Couldn't you come up with something slightly better? Yeah. For them, just the way their species uh, is it CGI? Well, I remember that you took me to this place in San Rafael over by the dump that they had all the models that they did the Star Wars. Is, is Star Wars, uh, was that, uh, yeah, uh, uh, and they had these, um, uh, plaster of Paris things, they were all outside. And we walked around well, the building. Well, that and was they, that was that was industrial light and magic in the early right. days before they, uh, um, Went out. To, where did they? Where did they go? I think they actually went to the Presidio. Is where they're doing most yeah. of that now. But but, but, but but wait a minute. Let me finish. Yeah. That, that was industrial light and magic. And what they did, in order to keep people away, yeah. uh, it didn't say industrial light and magic on it. It said Sterling Optical. Really? Yeah, optical uh, laboratories or something well, like that. Well, you knew that. where it was and. You drove, and we went to the thing, and, and all outside it, they had it, this it, plaster it, of well, Paris. Well, it was like in the back where they did right. all the all they had all the models that they were like they used right. to blow them up there. Yeah, it, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, people in the neighborhood would always talk about how you know they hear explosions and they go, "Oh, industrial light and magic shooting another picture," you know. <laughs> Yeah, well, th those things were they, they yeah. were pretty interesting. They were all miniature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, Jason. Jason. <laughs> so my plan is once uh, the season is over for Star Trek, I'm just going to get uh, CBS for one month so I can you know binge watch. Oh, them I season. guess you could binge watch them, couldn't you? Yeah, and then cancel it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good show. I I uh, I get it. Uh, I don't necessarily say I subscribe to it. Uh, but there are ways, you know. Send me a link. Huh? <laughs> so send me a link. Yeah, on your cable I'll, network, I, aren't I'll you getting... I'll, send you, I'll yes? send you an invite, as a matter of fact, Jason. Just send me send me your email address, and I will get you onto a system where you can just have a buffet of television. It, it's not on CBS on TV, Phil. It's only oh. on the pay system. But, I it's, it, but, it, but it's, it's, it's on Netflix in Europe. Oh. And now oh, get yeah? ready for this. Get ready for this. Oh, On Netflix in Europe, it says, because I've seen the Netflix cut of it, a Netflix original. I thought <laughs> CBS produced this fucking thing. What do you mean it's a Netflix original? They keep putting this Netflix original on all this shit that they have nothing to do with. Another one, you know the show Riverdale? Have you ever seen it? This no. is the Archie, yeah, Veronica, the Betty, comic. Jughead show, which is really very dark and completely different than the old Archie comics, right? <laughs> and I like the show. It's a really good show. Uh, and if you look at uh, some of the, uh, if, if you go online to get it, uh, some of them come from Europe. Guess mm. what? It's a Netflix original. The only they, cartoons I like are is King of the Hill, and that comes from. We're not Texas. talking about cartoons. Well, they're not cartoons, it's Archie. Not a, and, no, oh, no, I've never watched it. No, it's a live action thing, but it, oh. it, it, even in printed uh, on the on the thing it, uh, uh, with the credits, it goes a Netflix original production or whatever, and then it says something like Warner Brothers Studios. Uh, that's why I saw three percent. It was a show I was watching on Netflix, and that's something out of Brazil. Yeah, but I mean, what what's happening is they're stamping the name Netflix original on everything that they're playing outside of this country that they had nothing to do with the production of. And I find that a little sleazy. Yeah, Jason, I, you, you have a VPN. Is that how you watch? No, I'm, I'm saying that's how I would need to get in order to get Netflix Europe. Yeah, to get Netflix Europe. Yeah. Uh, they although, no, wait a minute. I, I, know, I know somebody that has a VPN. Rob has a VPN, and yeah. he tried to use yeah. his Netflix going through his VPN in Europe, and it, rec it still it recognized it was coming through a VPN or whatever and would not allow him to watch European Netflix. So, mm -hmm. you know. But a lot of the stuff that, that we, we pay for or is on networks <laughs> here winds up being a Netflix original in another country. <laughs> you know, so... Um, uh, but I bet you can't binge watch it in all those other countries. They probably unroll it out every week, just like Isn't CBS English? does. No, 
It's in a lot of different languages. It's in Japanese. It's in Russian. Uh, you p pick your uh, pick your tra your a uh, dialogue track. So I think Amazon was doing with a, a show they had called Salvation. Yeah, and uh, they were coming out. It was weekly, and you know I thought that there was only four episodes, and I'm watching it, and then I go back like a couple of weeks later. I'm like, oh shit, there's like four more episodes. Yeah. And uh, so they were releasing it weekly, but you know, I think it's over. That was a pretty good show too. Well, there's a show. There's a show that they uh, they have alias. I'm trying to remember what the name of the the show is. It's it premiered this week on uh, on Netflix, and it was a CBC production. It's been on already up in Canada. It's a CBC production. Why does it say a Netflix original? Original, you know, if you want to say a Netflix production or a Netflix uh, presentation or whatever, fine, but you only tag onto something, the word original, when you've done it. It's original to Netflix. It's a, yeah, <laughs> not, not, a, not original to Netflix America, no. you know, because it runs on CBS here. And CBS bought and paid for that show, by the way, not Netflix. You know. Yeah, Jason, the CBS I have, uh, I have it through the Roku, and I pay uh, specifically for, for that. Uh, although I haven't watched it much in a, in, in, in lately, I think I'll say. But is that the pay CBS, or is that you're just paying for your local feed? No, of CBS? that's the pay pay CBS, uh, because uh, they, the CBS uh, I get NBC and uh, and a few others on an ABC on the ro on the um, uh, the other thing I got uh, uh, Swing, but uh, you don't have CBS, so uh, I got CBS individually. Yeah, uh, but it, it it streams through the Roku. Yeah, well, and, I get everything for one hundred and sixty one dollars this month. I have no idea why. Like <laughs> every every week, I mean, I I was always used to with cable getting the same bill every month, and now every month it's a different price. Well, maybe you're getting the bill for the guy downstairs. I don't know, but uh, I can hardly wait for the bill that comes, and I owe them five hundred dollars for that month. I mean, yeah, you know, but it will all you. it will all equal out in the end, you know. But I mean, well, what was your monthly bill supposed to be? Like, well, uh, they to told me they told me my monthly bill would be two hundred and thirty one dollars or something, and the first month they said was going to be higher because there were you know installation, installation. fees and stuff, and then. Um, all of a sudden, I get the next bill after that, and it's 221 and then I get the one this month, and it's 163 when well, they Maybe just because you called a bitch, they gave you a credit. Uh, when they send you a check, then you know you really won. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I just don't, I, and I think it, it, it had a page of about $208 worth of what they call discounts. And there were just a whole bunch of things they were giving me. I know they're giving me discounts for two years on certain services. Did they list what the discounts are? No. You know, no. Like, uh, 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 senior uh, discount? Five senior discount, uh, you know, a loyalty discount for being with oh, them man, for two I, months. I've got it uh, here. Hold on a second. I'll tell you the discounts. AARP. <laughs> uh, $169 is what the thing came to. Okay, yeah. $169. And the... Uh, how much of that was taxed? The discounts, a lot of it. 68. A lot of it. $124 is what my actual charge is, but then the taxes bring it up to 100 and whatever. 61. But no, it, it, let's see here. The discounts this month, $208. And they say equipment and discounts. Uh, Fios setup credit, minus $90. Uh, uh, so they credit you back your installation that you did, your $100 installation that you bitched about. I guess. I don't know. Uh, uh, rent, HD, set-top box, minus $8. Uh, Multi-room, minus $15. I mean, uh, maybe this will go up by, oh, maybe this will go up 90 bucks next month or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, basically, this... you bitched about it, and they gave you a credit for what they were going to give but the fire... Yeah, didn't you give... Thirty-five one service, and then all of a sudden you, you know something. A I, I get a, a FIO setup credit. I think of minus ninety dollars every month for two years or something like that. You know, because I I went to went to them, and that's their. You know, I don't know. I I can hardly wait to see when the bill comes that I have to pay seven hundred dollars. You know, but I I I'm I'm just used to the bill being the same amount every single month, and uh, that's not the case here. Well, as long as it keeps going down. 
uh, then, uh, you know, that's that's a bill you could live with. Well, I mean, I imagine it will go up next month. I, I, I can't, you know, it, it's got to stabilize at something. But why this minus $90 for setup? The setup was months ago. So I imagine that it's there every month as part of the credit I get towards whatever deal I have with them. It's very yeah. strange. Very strange. Who knows? I, I mean, they're setting you up. Huh? They're setting you up. Yeah, I don't. I, you know, I don't mind if it's you know two. Uh, it, it should be somewhere around two hundred and sixty dollars because I'm paying off an installation every month. Mm -hmm. But uh, minus that, um, I think um, it, it probably, if I were to take out that ninety, I, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see what happens next month. That'll be interesting. You know, I, I imagine it'll go back to like two twenty one or two thirty or something, and that's fine with me. But you know. I just don't know what all these discounts are. If anybody knows, write me, tell me. You know, you can go to contact on the GabNet page and tell me what this whole Fios deal is because I have no idea. what It's the mystery bill I get. You know, everything else I can tell you how much is going to be. You know, Hulu's going to be so much. Netflix is going to be so much. Um, this thing's going to be so much, this bill. I know what my, my server bill is going to be for putting this show out live on the internet, blah, 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 blah. I, but I have no idea with Fios. It's just random. So who knows? Maybe where, what happened to Jason? Maybe he would know. He's the big fiber guy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, anything else we haven't talked about tonight? Uh, uh, anything that the president has done or hasn't done, which uh, ticks us off? Um, He's been on a plane. <laughs> They've yeah. announced he, he enjoyed his lay in uh, Hawaii. Yeah. He's wearing a leg when he got off the plane. Oh, so. really? Yeah. yeah. Pretty exciting to have a bunch of, bunch of pictures of Air Force One. You know the employee that worked at Twitter that cut him off? Yeah. You know why, yeah. he, quit, why he was quitting his job? Why? He, he got a new job as an electrician on Air Force One. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Is Melania with him? Yeah, she wore yeah, she a wreath of too. flowers. Isn't this great news coverage? We're just as off, off the news. They got pictures of Air Force One. She wore a wreath of flowers. He put a lay on. Yeah. He's uh, hey, not unfamiliar with lays. And how, lays. how come you never comment on all this stuff that's going on in the DNC and Donna Brazil and and all these well, other... I think it's terrible. You know, I, would, I complained about it when it happened. Yeah, but I, I never no, no, hear it. No, there were know? there were a lot of people who were Bernie fans, for instance, who were complaining about the way that whole thing was being handled and that it wasn't fair and just. And I, but I knew she was like a hundred times better than Trump. That's all I knew. Well, no, she wasn't a hundred times better than Trump. She was just one percent better than Trump, and that 1%, was enough. One percent better, but yeah, yeah, anything's better than Trump. Unfortunately, well, actually, uh, Trump's own advisors said that if he ran against Bernie, he would have lost. Uh, I've heard it both ways. I don't I, think we know. I don't. If he know ran against that. Bernie and there was no Russian interference, uh, Bernie would have won. The Russians sure. did nothing. Whatever they did, I don't think made a hill Listen, of beans. Listen, I'm going to I'm going I'm going to say that the election was lost by two people: the Russians, okay, and Hillary, and, and Comey, and Hillary, and Comey. And, well, yeah. Comey you know, did well, his Hillary job. too. All three. Comey fucked up right. something that was already fucked up. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I mean, she knew she was going to lose that election. She knew she was going to lose it. Well, Bill knew it. Yeah. She didn't, according to the book. And by or, the way, where is Bill these days? Don't see him uh, anywhere. Uh, he's in Arkansas, they say. Uh, he's in his cigars. Library. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Smoking dipped cigars. Cigars. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, that's a, we've run out of time here tonight. Uh, but the, we've had a nice little panel here. We've had a lot of talk about a lot of things. Jason, see you in two weeks, all right? I guess. Uh, Kevin, see you hopefully on Tuesday. You too, Mike. You too, Phil. You too, Jeff and, and Charlene. You're always oh, welcome to come you, by and, and see nope. us. What? I'll be, I'll be on a plane. When? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, where are you going? Uh, Florida. Okay. You're going to call us from Florida? Uh, yeah. I don't know what time I get in, but... yeah. Uh, yeah, you're on later there, so uh, yeah, possibly, yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. Anyway, everybody wave goodbye and say Bye. goodnight. Yeah, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Citizens Panel, and uh, that's our uh, little group for tonight. Uh, they are uh, terrific, aren't they? Huh? Really? Kind of good show tonight. Uh, we're going to have a good show coming up next right here 
uh, on this uh, same gab net uh, with uh, Jack and Amy uh, with the intersection. And then, of course, it's Connections at 1 o'clock this morning. I'm Alex Bennett. We take the weekend off. We come back next Tuesday. And until then, we'll be here, same time, same station in life. And as always, uh, you know what I mean. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.